to do or configure unify we need a unify controller i'm going to download unify controller setup for mac because i did already from a unify site and let me uh, check and let me tell you how you can download the unify controller okay go to unify controller from here you can choose uh, if you have windows then you select windows if you have microsoft uh, windows then windows fine otherwise mac was the linux and here is the download page just click on download the setup will be download and you can <coughs> select the which uh, latest software it is the latest 6.2.26 for Mac OS X, same for Windows, same for Ubuntu and Linux. Uh, just click on this one and download. Just accept. Same uh, procedure for Windows and Linux because I have Mac OS X, then uh, that's why I'm following on uh, for Mac OS X. Now the uh, package downloaded just open and install double click then you, it will ask some credentials from you if you see uh, this kind of message just go to system preferences then security and privacy in general first unlock Can't open because Apple cannot check it from the software. Okay, okay. Just uh, check open anyway. Here you can see Unify package is blocked because uh, some uh, unidentified developers' uh, softwares uh, Apple blocked. So you uh, need to open it manually. Just uh, open system preferences, then secure and privacy in general. Here you can see. So open anyway. I'm going to open anyway. Open it and install it. And I'm, I'm not going to install it because I already installed the Unify controller. The same. Uh, this is the procedure how to install the controller. I'm going to cancel it. After you install uh, the software, this type of uh, screen you can see this type of screen and launch browser for many the network Never launch and uh, after launching this kind of screen you can uh, see the web configuration to change them uh, or i'm going to disable or enable mesh for the unify devices first this is dashboard second topology here you can see i have two mesh APs this is main and this is second I just create the mesh and I'm going to disable mesh just uh, use manually so that's next one is floor plan you can see how to uh, uh, set up the if you uh, if you confuse how to set up the flooring then you can follow this setting so uh, now I'm going to uh, click unify devices this is my two devices i uh, configure and create a mesh next one is clients and here you can see the everything from here and the settings alerts everything so our focus is just to uh, disable or enable mesh if uh, if we want to meshing or we don't use meshing then click unify devices and click on one uh, ap here is the overview overview mean uh, you can see everything from here overview downlink history which devices are connected these are connected with my 
yeah, it is and time everything is showing here and uh, next one is devices you can control the device setting if you want enable disable led network i'm using dhcp if you have a static ip then you can use uh, click on static and follow this api address but i'm using dhcp so i'm going to cancel it next one is uh, services and manage so these are setting from uh, the devices the last one is rf rf uh, is uh, by default this uh, meshing is enabled every devices so here you can see the enable meshing enable meshing and i'm going to disable it then my ap will use as a single or uh, manual the next one is so here you can control everything from here after that apply changes i'm i'm not going to uh, disable meshing so here you can disable or enable meshing i hope this video will help for uh, your devices if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you